The Uganda Police Force has linked the escalating attacks on different police posts on the prevailing political situation in the country. The police spokesperson, Fred Enanga, says that after attacks, the perpetrators exit scenes of the crimes, chanting freedom. And Cyril Luwama reports the force has started reinforcing accordingly. Uganda Police Force has revealed that in the past four months, at least six police officers have been hacked to death and six guns stolen. These incidences are isolated in different police commanding regions as unknown people stage attacks at different police posts. The is that the attacks appear unique because security personnel are targeted for their guns. Uh, by an extreme and hostile group of attackers. Police is suspicious as these attacks are connected to the prevailing political situation in the country. The force is following the nature of these occurrences based on the way they are executed. Going by their utterances in Sekanyonyi, where they shouted out freedom, uh, then in the... I made utterances clearly indicating that they were targeting security officers and their government, which makes their agenda appear political. The recent immediate attack was at Sekanyonyi Police Post in Kiboga District, where lives of Corporal Subga Francis and SPC Dimba Po were lost. Some police posts have been merged to strengthen the capacity of saving the lives of officers. Some have been strengthened, while others have been merged. In addition, we've updated our routines, issued new guidelines, intensified intelligence, and effectively equipped our officers as they implement their duty to protect and serve the public. Police is holding three people over engaging in illegal labor export. These are accused of using a tour and travel license of Strategic Partners Agents Limited to export human beings. We covered uh, 34 passports and uh, personal files, you know, 37 photographs of the people who were, they were, they had recruited, uh, Interpol, you know, letters, including also t-shirts, you know, of, of the company. Uh, so the, the suspects, you know, are at Nasana, you know, police, uh, you know, you know, division. And according to the law, uh, tours and travel companies are not supposed to export or recruit uh, you know, you know, labor. Traffic police is reinforcing Fika Salam operations in the preparation of handling traffic offenders in this festive season. Operations on reckless driving and other offenses largely responsible for road carnage. Also, we shall strengthen the operations on speeding. Traffic directorate will also increase the motorized patrols. You see an increased in number of the motorcycles and vehicles with traffic personnel on the road. Strengthen our Fika Salama operation points. You know how Fika Salama checkpoints on the roads? So we are going to enhance them since that. Abudun Nasele Lobama, UBC News.